Okay, so this is going to be a quick demo video about using Power Teacher Pro and getting into it. Right now I'm using a generic login for PowerSchool for training purposes, and I just signed in. Um, when you visit PowerSchool and you access it, you'll, have, you'll see your sections or courses, and it looks very similar to this like you would normally see. Uh, instead of launching Power Teacher Gradebook, you'll see Power Teacher Pro underneath any section or on the top left. You can pick any one of those and it will get you there. Once you click on it, you'll notice it's pretty quick and it'll get you to what you need. Uh, right away, it'll take you to the section, the first course or section you have. If I click on the top right, or I'm sorry, on the top, you'll see all the sections. And you should be able to kind of go in and click on any one of the classes you have. So if I click on a course, I should see the assignments that are here. Now this is a test one, so everything here is fictitious, so no worries about its privacy. Um, here, these are assignments that are already in here. If you had an assignment and you want to edit it, you can always click on edit and edit the assignment, which is really nice. Uh, the left hand side is pretty much what we generally have, your grading section. Here is your assignment list, your score sheet and categories we'll get into in different videos. Students will have your student list of all the students you have. And what's really nice is if you click on the student themselves, it will actually take you to only the course assignments of that student, which is kind of nice. I don't remember that being there in the previous version. Okay, so when I click on grading and click on assignment list, this is where I could generally make any sort of assignments. <clears throat> also, if I go to grading and go to score sheet, if I make any assignments, that will take me right to my score sheet here and show all the scores that we could go through here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you how to create a simple assignment and then I'm going to show you if you have a bunch of assignments just how to navigate this. And in other videos I'll talk about um, other different areas about Power Teacher Gradebook and keep it nice, simple, and easy. So right now it doesn't really matter where you're at. I could just say create an assignment. Call it test assignment. Uh, choose a category, so I'm just going to call it test for right now. Uh, because this category is set to be 10 points, I could call it whatever, and we'll talk about how to change categories later. Uh, right now it's set for the final grade. If I don't want it to be entered into the final grade, you could uncheck it, so use that at your discretion. And then you could assign the due date and when it's due. So usually in Power Teacher Gradebook or Power Teacher Pro, anything that has an asterisk you have to do. So right now it's in the selected class. If I'm doing Geography 2, but pick your subject or pick your class, you can select all the classes you want this apply to. So for middle school, most likely you're going to want to select all your other classes because you want this to automatically go to all your classes instead of doing this over and over. But for elementary, you just pick one of your classes that you have. Now since we are not um, going to focus on assigning or only assigning an assignment to as students, we're going to bypass that. And since we're not doing standard-based reporting right now, we're going to bypass this too. The last tab um, just lets you know that this will publish immediately. So right now, at our middle school, you should be able to have this checked automatically so that my, uh, the students and parents could actually see the grades once it's after it's entered. So I'm going to hit Save. And it is saved. This window, you notice, has not disappeared. So just letting you know, after you do save it, just close the window out, and it has saved it. And I do see right here on the right hand side is test assignment. Now, if it's difficult to navigate through, because say you do a lot of assignments, on the top right it says show assignments from most recent. And what it should do, from least recent to most recent, it should tell you, look at the dates, 8, 3, 2, 6, 2, uh, 2016. And this is 9, 8, 2016. If I click on here, it would say, so right now it looks like in this test one, there's even ones that are due in October. So that will actually get you navigating through here. So if you do not see one that was due a long time ago, instead of having a scroll bar, which I don't see a scroll bar here, you would actually click on Show Assignments from Least Recent or Most Recent. And here I could start adding the assignments. You could type anything here, or you could physically type and press Enter on however you're doing this. Okay, so you should have to type real things here. Now, as it's typing, you're going to look that you're going to notice that these things are around here. Just letting you know, we haven't hit save yet. So we have to every once in a while hit save because you don't want to go through all your assignments and not hit save. So that's a good thing to know. Um, in a different assign, uh, a different video, I'd like to talk more about 
utilizing the score sheet, but I just want to make sure or being able to grade actually. But right now, I just want you to become familiar with getting in, being able to create an assignment, and typing it in, and making sure we're saving. Uh, I hope this video is, is very helpful. I'll be creating more videos specifically on different areas.